Hello and welcome to episode 71 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to cover all the iOS 10 features, which sadly, at this moment in time, is not a great deal. Anyway, I just wanted to cover what is new in case you were wondering. So here we go. The main the main new thing I found, or the, there's two main new things. The first one is the uh, notifications widget. Uh, I think this is really good because the color now means that your flags actually stand out a lot better, much, much easier to see. But the functionality from iOS 9 to iOS 10 has not really changed. You can click on there to see all your today tasks, uh, and that's really cool. Um, or alternatively, we can click on uh, add new task, which is what we did before, and that will take you into the full adding new task window. So that's really all there is in the new one. One other difference that I've noticed is with the share sheet. I've got to be very careful how I say that. So if I go into this, um, <clears throat> I think I've got uh, a... A website here let's have a look what we got we've got a an article from medium.com and let's say I wanted to uh, add this to my to do is well all I have to do is click on the share sheet functionality which is there we go and then click on my to do is and that's going to bring up a slightly different version so what we've got here is uh, the website address and we've got the um, the title so why did Rothenberg ventures go astray and what you'll notice up here is we've got a, a cancel button which is nice and easy and all you have to do you can add in a few other additional features to this if you wish to add a tag the date um, sorry the project and all the other various things that you may want to add into this that is all there for you if you wish so <clears throat> that's really cool and all you have to do is click on the arrow button and sure enough that was going to go straight to there and it'll tell you when it's added now the thing about to do is and it's share sheet is I've really been impressed always because this is so fast to arrive in the inbox so if I click on my inbox sure enough it's there and it will be a clickable link I've been having problems with this when I was doing my rehearsals yeah there we go it's not working very well <laughs> um, but I should be able to get there we go it goes straight into the uh, article bang straight away so I am really sorry that I've not been able to show you the 3d touch versions because there are a few little changes to that um, in Todoist but as in the next few weeks I will get my iPhone 7 and I will cover all the 3d touch functionality in Todoist so there you go. That's really the main updates in iOS 10 for Todoist. Please, please uh, take a few moments to have a play around with it. See if you can set things up a little bit differently to the way you did it before. It's always the best way to be productive. And for the rest of it, I wish you all a very, very productive week. And I'll see you in the next episode.